bursting the bubble around the heart. Do you or anyone you know suffer from depression or a feeling of being isolated even when around others? Do you feel unable to interact freely with the world around you? Do you feel sometimes you aren't reaching your full potential in life? If any of these resonate with you, then what I have to share in this video may feel true to you too. And as I always request in my videos, please listen with your heart and see if it feels true for you. Have you thought maybe that you might have something called a heart wall? Approximately 93% of the population has a heart wall, according to Dr. Bradley Nelson, author of The Emotion Code. I can hear you asking yourself, what is a heart wall? And how can my physical heart have a wall? Well, those are really valid questions, and I appreciate that you're curious. And I hope that you'll be open to hearing what I have to say about this. You may already be familiar with the concept that everything is energy, even your body. And quantum physics has shown this to us. Everything that looks solid, like your head, hand, or organs, such as the heart, comes down to atoms spinning around in space. Of course, you can't see that with your physical eyes. But then again, I appreciate you being open to what I have to say. Okay, hold on here as I introduce another concept. Our emotions are energy too, as literally everything is energy. True? Now that we've covered those concepts, I want to ask you a simple question. Have you experienced hurt or sadness in your life? I know most of you will say yes. We all have. That is life. That is part of being human. What can happen when we experience heartache, sadness, or other intense or painful feelings? The emotions we experience can actually become trapped anywhere in the body, especially if the feelings are very intense or the body is out of balance in some other way. These trapped emotional energies are referred to as trapped emotions. If the heart is in danger of being hurt or broken, the subconscious mind will gather several trapped emotions around the heart to form a barrier. This barrier is called the heart wall, a multi-layered wall of pure, invisible, yet harmful emotional energy. So now let's talk a little about your heart before I explain what happens when we have a heart wall made of so many emotions. This is your beautiful heart. Well, the heart has been known for many generations to be far more powerful than the brain and produces a magnetic field that is 5,000 times more than the brain. The field of neurocardiology has shown that there are neurons in the heart and that communication between heart and brain happens via these neurons. In fact, the communication is 95% from heart to brain and 5% the other way. So really, we think with our hearts, don't we? So what happens when we have a heart wall? The energy of our heart has to go through the filters of these negative emotions to communicate with our brain and our world. Communication from others also doesn't come through to the heart clearly, affecting how we see, hear, or feel the world. This can present a host of problems, leading to depression, divorce, abuse, misunderstandings, prejudice, hatred, and the list can go on. 
heart walls can, on a global scale, lead sadly to war, terrorism, ethnic cleansing too. What if we could all have our heart walls removed? We would not have to filter the information received and given out from and to the world through this wall of negative emotions. Having a heart wall is like experiencing life through colored filters. You can't really experience life as it truly is. Yet, this altered reality becomes normal and leads to a lot of hopelessness, depression and disconnectedness in our world. But the good news is, it doesn't have to be that way. A question I get asked often is, can removing the heart wall leave me feeling very vulnerable? My thoughts are that rather than looking at it this way, we could ask, can it help me feel more deeply and experience life more fully? In a war zone, it is okay to take shelter in a bunker, but once the war is over, is it productive to stay in there? No, not really. As we're here to experience life fully in all its bountifulness, the heart wall prevents us from doing just that. Can this heart wall be removed? Yes, it can, by identifying each emotional layer via communication with the person's subconscious, using muscle testing or kinesiology. Once the emotions are identified, we ask the subconscious if it can be released and do so. The subconscious mind makes up 95% of our consciousness and stores everything about you and I mean everything it remembers what you had for dinner a week ago what experiences can happen as a result of releasing a heart wall for some it can be obvious straight away as they feel an expansion of their heart space and begin to notice things in their life where people or situations are drawn to them where they weren't before. For others, it's more subtle, but in their day-to-day -day living, they will notice some subtle changes, which of course accumulate gradually. And of course, everyone is different. You too can begin to live your life to its fullest potential and that in and of itself brings so many wonderful opportunities. Many individuals who've had their heart walls removed have experienced their depression eliminated, having healthier marriages, seeing abuse stopped in their lives, and generally lives turned around. It really does bring in a possibility for loving relationships to begin with you first and then with others. Carolyn Mace says it quite deliciously in this quote, the love that flows through your heart purifies not only your own spirit, but the love you share with others question that arises, can children and animals have heart walls? Most certainly they can. And having a heart wall removed has helped many children make better choices and live authentically from their hearts at an early age. To me that is a very precious gift that we can give them and I feel so passionate about this can have heart walls too and removing them can help them feel more confident and more open to receiving and giving love. Everyone of us is looking for happiness, peace and joy. And we've all been told that it begins inside us first and then shows up on the outside. It does really begin with the heart. Are you willing to come out of your heart wall bunker and experience happiness, peace and joy from the inside and watch how it can transform your life. 
I love this quote, and for me it sums up what can happen once we live from our heart, without the filters of a heart wall. In the depths of winter, I finally learned that within me there lay an invincible summer. And now, just as a last thought, I've always wondered if Scrat the Squirrel from Ice Age the Movie, if he had no heart wall, maybe, just maybe, he wouldn't have to chase after the nut as much and might have a better relationship with it. And just a passing thought that felt appropriate to share in this video. For more information on heart walls, please have a look at Dr. Bradley Nelson's book, The Emotion Code. It really is well, well worth checking out if you feel inspired to read more about it. I thank you for listening to my words from my heart to yours.